everybody, it's Bunny. Who's ready for another shoe unboxing video? Who's ready for me to shut the hell up unless I'm doing my perfume collection video or I'm talking about dead people? Really, as soon as I can like six, <laughs> see, see, point proven. As soon as I can string like eight syllables successfully together, there's a tongue twister, I will be filming my perfume collection video. I've literally filmed it 30 times. I hate all 30 of the ways that it's come out. So I'm gonna try and do it again this weekend. Scout's honor. And I'm also going to be doing another paranormal video within the next few days. So nothing has stopped existing in any of my realms. Oh, and a thrift haul is coming soon. Today I'm going to be unboxing a pair of Jeff Campbell 99 ties. I ordered these once again from nastygal.com because I was not joking when I said that that is the only place I'm going to order shoes from from now on. I'm starting to just order my clothes from there too. I don't know. As many of you may or may not know, my favorite color is lavender. These are suede lavender 99 ties. I actually bought them with the intention to wear them to the Neon Indian concert that I went to a couple days ago, but I ended up wearing the Cosmic Litas, which was my last shoe unboxing video that I did for you guys. I bought the Cosmic Litas originally to go to Panda Bear, and I bought the 99 ties to go to Neon Indian in like you guys care, but I decided not to wear these to a concert because they are suede. So I had an Elvis moment and I didn't want anybody to step on my lavender suede shoes. I have no complaints about this website, but the only thing that kind of throws me off sometimes is the background that they have all the models where the stuff, like the background behind them is pink. So for shoes like lavender or, you know, the cosmic Litas, like it's kind of confusing to see like true to color because I think, you know, the camera flash and the pink background like kind of makes colors look funny. I love the color that they are in real life way more than I loved seeing them on the website. But I mean, basically you tell me something is lavender and I'm gonna buy it. Like they could be like lavender rabid kittens for sale and I'd be like, oh, Give me two. Can never have enough lavender rabid kitten. This box, unlike the last box, which did have kittens on it, this has crossword puzzles. So this is a true, true unboxing. I've never tried these on in my life before right now when I'm about to try them on. I got them in the mail the other day, literally right before I was walking out the door to go to the Neon Indian concert. So I just didn't really like care at that point. I opened the box for five seconds and I was like, oh, they look great. And then like I ran out the door. Oh, and also these shoes were originally like 140 to $160. I don't quite remember. I've had my eye on them for about a month. I uh, looked at these at the same time I looked at the Cosmic Litas, but I ended up getting those first. And it actually worked out in my favor because these are on sale right now for $103. So I saved a couple bucks. The thing I love about all the shoes that I've ordered from Nasty Gal is that they come in these little like protective sleeves like uh, some handbags do. I just feel like this protects the surface of them. I suppose that's what they're for. Dust sleeves. So this is what they look like. They're gorgeous. Um, I hope I'm going to be able to walk successfully in these. Sometimes I struggle a little bit more with wedges for some reason than I do in regular heels. For instance, the Litas do have a pretty high heel on them, but I've never tripped once in them yet. And then the shoes that I bought before that by Substitute, the ones that I always refer to as my Shutter Island shoes, the ones that are just like solid and flat on the bottom, I wear those in every time I bust my ass. I don't know what's up with that. They're very, very supple feeling suede. Feel quite sturdy. They are like platforms. This is how high the heel is. In case y'all are wondering, they're not really heavy. Um, they're pretty light. I don't really think that they're gonna be heavy when I put them on either. I would say it's probably like a four or four and a half inch heel. I forgot, the specs are online. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to these shoes in the info box in case you guys want to grab yourself a pair. There's a couple other shades that they have on sale right now as well. I want to say something like teal. Uh, yeah, I could be, I could be lying. I'm going to go ahead and put them on now for you guys, okay? Challenge. So far, they feel really, really good. That should be a little better than the cosmic does. Really 
quite easy to walk in. enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy these type of videos, the shoe unboxings. I'd love to keep doing them. Um, I'm kind of out of like shoes that I want to buy right now though. So if you guys know of any good shoe shopping websites or strange clothing websites, if you could tell me in a comment down below, that would be great. Um, because I had my eye on three pairs of shoes from nastygal.com and I've now bought all three of them. So I don't really know what's next. Oh, and by the way, I don't work for Nasty Gal. I'm not sponsored by them um, in any way. I'm not being endorsed. I wasn't paid for this. I don't get anything. I'm just doing this because I like sharing my shopping experiences with you guys. As usual, please take a moment to subscribe, comment down below, let me know good places to find interesting shoes. If you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, tweet me there. We can have a conversation about shoes or anything else. And there you can tweet me at Pretty Vacant. I'll put that right down here. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.